Hey, fourth grade, it's Mrs. Spears. Um, coming at you today from page 14 and 15. Um, this is your homework video for Tuesday, September 15th. Um, this goes over the same section we talked about in the last video and the, what we talked about in class today. We're spending a couple days on this. Um, this is lesson 1.2, reading and writing numbers. Um, we're talking about standard form, a word form, and expanded form, and how to kind of flip-flop back and forth between all of those. Uh, I'm starting on page 14 today. If you hear a weird noise in the background, that's just my dishwasher. Ignore that. Um, so this one it wants to ask for, it says, mark all that apply. These questions can be a little tricky because there, there's more than one answer. So we have to examine all the answers before we, we choose. So this one says, what is another way to write 615,004? So we have to, I'm gonna look at the word forms first. This one says 615,004, does that match? 615,004, yep, that matches. So that one is probably true. Actually, we can go ahead and mark it because we know it's true. And then this one says 605,014. Well, this is, there's a one in there. It's not just 605, so that part doesn't work. And 14, there's no one in the tens place over here. So that doesn't work either. So that one's not it. So then we look at expanded form. This is 60,000, 10,000, 5,000, and 4,000. Um, 60,000, nope, there's not a six in the 10,000s place. So this part is not right. There is a one in the 10,000s place. That one works. Five in the 5,000s works. And the four in the ones place works. But this one does not, which makes this one not correct at all. Then I have 600,000. Yep, there's a six in the 100,000s place. I have 10,000, there's a one in the 10,000s place. I have 5,000, five's in the 5,000s place, and the four is in the ones place, so this one is correct. So we have to look at each place value at a time. Now, the last couple of days I've been talking to you about using the ones place and then working your way over. When you're changing these numbers into different forms, it's probably best if you start with the bigger place value, just because um, it'll help you catch some errors a little sooner. So I'm coming over to page 15. Um, they do number one for you. It just says read and write the number in two other forms. So whatever two forms are not represented is what you gotta do. So for number two, they give it to us in standard form, which means I need to put it into word form and expanded form. Those are the two I need to do. For number one, they put it give to you word form, so you did the opposite ones, which gave you standard form and expanded form. I like doing the word forms because all I have to do is read the number out loud to myself, and that usually helps me figure out what I need to do. So I start with the thousands period. This is 314,000, so I'm gonna write that word in here. 314,000 thousand and then I put in my comma just like where my comma is in my number whoops sorry you didn't even see that <laughs> there you go um, 314,000 comma 314,000 comma so I was in the thousands period now I'm going to move to the ones period and you just write that exactly the way it sounds you don't have to write the word ones after it like you do at the thousands place so 207 And then expanded form, I'm going to teach, take each place value and put zeros after it. So I've got the three in the three hundred thousands place, or three in the hundred thousands place. So I'm going to turn that into three hundred thousand because that's the value of the three. When it, remember, when a number is in a particular place value spot, you have to think about what spot that is to figure out what its value is. So expanded form is just separating all those values. So I did that one, so I can cross it out to help me remember where I left off. I have a one in the 10,000s place, so one 10,000 is just 10,000. I have a four in the 1,000s place, so four 1,000s is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Squeeze it in there. I have two in the 100s place, so two hundreds is just 200. And then I don't have anything in the tens place, so I can skip it. And then I'm gonna go into this, just the seven. So those are my two other forms. 
But number three gives it to me in expanded form, which means I need to go to standard form and word form. I always like to, if it gives me something other than standard form, I always like to go back to standard form first because I think it's easier to go to the other forms from standard. You might think it differently, that's fine too. Um, for me, that's the easiest way to do it. So I'm gonna start with the standard form. I'm gonna pop all these guys back together. Remember, you can line up your ones places in all of them and add them all together. There's different ways you can do that. So I can do 600,000, 80,000, line up my ones places, plus 10, and then all those come down. So zeros, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 zero eight, zero, eight, and six. Or you can just think about, okay, so this is representing the 100,000s place, the sixes. So I'm gonna put a six in the 100,000 place. This is representing the 10,000s place. So I'm gonna put an eight in the 10,000s place. There's nothing in the middle for the 1,000s place, so I'm gonna put a zero. There's nothing in the hundreds place, because there's no hundreds represented in there, so that's another zero. There's a 10, so I can put a 10 in the 10, or one in the tens place, and there's no ones by itself, so that becomes a zero as well, and that matches back up to if you were to add them together. It's up to you how you think about it. Whatever makes the most sense to you is fine with me, as long as you can get yourself back to standard form. And word form, it's 680,000, so I'm gonna start with that. 600, 80,000. Remember, comma goes after the thousands period, just like it does in a regular number. And then we have just have 10. We don't have hundreds, we don't have ones, we just have 10. Okay. Don't worry about spelling so much. As long as I can pretty much tell like what that you have the right place value in here, I'm good on spelling. Okay, use the number 913,256. Write the name of the period that has the digits 913. So remember, this is the ones period, and this is the thousands period. So the period that has the digits 913 is the thousands period. So the answer to number four is the thousands period. Okay. Write the digit in the 10 thousands place. So I'm gonna go over to the thousands. This is the ones plat period. I'm looking for the 10 thousands. So I'm gonna go to the thousands period. And remember, it repeats ones, tens, hundreds. The tens are always in the middle of each period. So here is my 10 thousands place. So the digit in the 10 thousands place of this number is just one, which represents one 10 thousand group. And then it says write the value of the digit nine. This is what we did on Monday. So the nine is in the hundred thousands place, because remember I'm in the ones, thousands, hundreds are all the way to the left. So the value of the nine, I have nine one hundred thousand, so one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand, seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand. So there's nine groups of a hundred thousand. That makes it nine thousand. Which state had a population of 804,194? So this is, we're gonna use the table for these two questions. So I'm trying to find which number matches this word form. 804,000, I'm gonna start there. Well, this is 600 something thousand. This is 500,000 something. This one is the 804,194, 194. Matching. So I'm gonna put South Dakota is my answer. What is the value of the digit eight in Alaska's population? So I'm gonna look at Alaska. The eight is in the 10 thousands place. So if I have eight 10 thousands, I've got 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, 80,000. Eight groups of 10,000 is 80,000. If you need to stop and pause and go back and look at some of those again, you're welcome to do so at any time. I'm gonna turn the page and I'm gonna do, I'm on page 16 and I'm gonna do the two lesson check problems with you. 
So it says, based on a 2008 study, children 6 through 11 years old spend 69,108 minutes a year watching television. Holy cow. Uh, what is this number written in standard form? Sweet. So we're going back to standard form. So we're just going to take it one section at a time. So here's the thousand section right here. So I'm going to do those first. 69,000. So I'm going to do 69,000, comma, to represent the separation in periods. 108 minutes a year. So 100. Eight, not 180, which is plain old eight. So that's why there's a zero in the tens place. And then what is the value of the digit four in the number 84,230? The four is in the one thousands place because we're in the thousands period and we're in the ones place of that period. So that would be four in the thousands place. So that would be 4,000 or 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. So the value of the four in the one thousands place is 4,000. If you guys still have any questions on this, we'll talk about this in class tomorrow. Save them for then. Um, and I will see you there. Bye.